today. I got a little aluminum pan in the center of a Weber kettle. We're gonna snake some charcoal and lump around the outside. Maybe from like say, if this is 12 o'clock up here, we go uh, 12 o'clock to about 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock till about 12. Leave some room down in here without any charcoal. I'm going to place them in there. Be right back. Okay. Got the Royal Oak. All natural lump. Kingsford Pro. So we uh, snaked it around. Put some gloves on if you don't want to get charcoal fingers. So we're going to put some down here and uh, get this thing started. We'll be back. Stepped inside here. I'm going to give you a tip. Some vegetable oil, three or four paper towels, and a lighter. We're going to use this to fire our chimney. Why? Because this is not going to leave ashes all over the place blown. If you use newspapers, you're going to have that sooty ash blowing all over the place, getting on your food. You don't want that, trust me. This is a very simple method, and you don't get any weird taste on your food like lighter fluid when you use this vegetable oil. It doesn't have to be this grocery store, it could be whatever. But that's the next tip. We're going to go out and Fire this puppy up. So I drizzled some oil down in here on those paper towels. Put about a couple of little handfuls of lump in there. It's going. I'm going to drop it down in here and start the snake. And I'm going to go prep my meat while I uh, get ready for this thing to light up. Be back. All right, we're back. Got some St. Louis cut ribs here. Good price on those, $1.99 a pound. And we're gonna be featuring this rub today. Harry Sue, slap your daddy barbecue. All purpose. We're gonna be featuring that. And uh, let's get these things out of the pack, seasoned up, and we'll get, check on that fire. All right, we're out of the package. There's a membrane here. All this white looking gook. I'm gonna get that off. I'm gonna use a butter knife to slide under it and a paper towel. I'm gonna slide up under one of these bones in here and get it up underneath, lift it up. Use the paper towel to grab it. It won't slip. So we'll show you what that looks like when we're done. All right, gang. Got that peeled off. One thing I had to uh, deal with down here, there was this. Uh, there's a bone down here, and it's very like, man, you didn't, wouldn't want anybody to get that. So trim that off. Check your ribs. It's probably you're not, probably not going to encounter that, but I did. This is the membrane that we pulled off. Gross stuff. It's off. We're going to season up. Check the fire. All right, gang. I slapped a little Worcestershire sauce on there as a base. Don't have to do that. Something I like to do. Give it a little shake here. Don't be shy. Get it covered. This is going to be your bark. So, all right. That's about how I like it. Let that set up. Checking the fire. Back out here at the grill side. It's good enough to start. Some red fire coals in there. Let's burn it this way. Get that in there. Use my stick. Get these puppies situated. Get over here. Cut that out. Stay there. There you go. Alright, this guy comes out of the mix.
bringing this guy back in. A couple coals down here out of place. Let's stack these up a little better. And put some water in there. Put the grill on top. Be showtime. Got some water to put in the pan. Let's see you out there. All right, situate our food in here. Food ready. Put the dome on. We'll check up on it in a little bit. All set. Irv, clean up, aisle 10. That's gonna do it for part one of this video. Food's in there, it's cooking away. Everything's all set and raring to go. See you in part two.